According to the Myers-Briggs Personality Type Indicators, ENTJs to be the most rational personality types, but time and time again, research has shown that a fair number of them are quite religious. Now, doesn't that seem like a contradiction? Why are ENTJs so religious if they are so rational? In this video, we examine all that and more. So, stick around to find out. Before we dive into this video on why ENTJs are so religious, please make sure to like and subscribe. Doing so will allow you to stay informed and engaged, and will keep you up to speed with all developments in the science of personality. So, before we dive in, let's have a brief overview of the ENTJ personality type. This will help us better understand their character quirks later down the line. So, ENTJs, also known as commanders, are extroverted, intuitive, thinking, and judging. You should instantly know from this unique set of traits that they are quite decisive, always strive for greatness, and love challenges. Some strengths of ENTJs are that they are charismatic, efficient, energetic, strategic, and strong-willed. Some weaknesses of ENTJs are that they are stubborn, intolerant, arrogant, impatient, cold, and ruthless. We know some popular ENTJ people are Steve Jobs, Margaret Thatcher, Gordon Ramsay, and Teddy Roosevelt. And so, with that as a primer, why are ENTJs so religious? After all, shouldn't they be more rational, as their personal traits suggest? Well, there are many different ways we can answer that question, and let's look at them one by one. The first thing you need to understand is that rationality and religiousness are not at odds with each other. They can be, sure, but inherently, they are not. People can understand the world and how it works while still believing in a higher power or having a spiritual life. Some of the most popular ENTJs we know led quite religious lives. For example, Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple, who led the tech giant to develop such technological marvels as the laptop and iPad, was quite religious too. He converted to Buddhism after traveling across Asia. This should serve as a strong example that even the most rational people you know can be in touch with their spiritual sides without generating inner conflict or turmoil. The second major reason most ENTJs can be so religious is that they have the perfect traits to suit such a calling. Does that sound paradoxical to you? If so, relax and let us explain. You see, most religious ENTJs end up in leadership positions instead of follower positions. They are most often pastors and clergymen instead of parishioners and congregants. And this doesn't typically happen because they are more in touch with their spiritual side than other church members. Instead, it happens because they are natural leaders who know how to inspire a congregation and really get them going. Think about it. Most ENTJs we know are very strong and charismatic leaders, and pastors are just religious leaders. And so, whenever an ENTJ enters a position like this, they have a really easy time convincing others to follow them. They make others feel safe, and they make others feel comfortable, and they make others feel like they have a plan. Would you like to join a church where the pastor lacks self-confidence or charisma? Even if you're absolutely religiously devout, you will feel drained by such a leader. On the other hand, a charismatic leader will have your total devotion. And these are positions in which ENTJs thrive. So, there you have it. We hope you've learned much about why ENTJs are so religious. Their religiosity, if not taken to the extremes, isn't in itself a bad thing. But if you want to become like them, or just want to understand why they are the way they are, your curiosity should have been satisfied quite well. In any case, to learn more, please check out our other videos on how to flirt with an ISTP personality type male, as well as 5 careers ISTPs may not like. These will give you a more holistic understanding of personality and ensure that you're well equipped to deal with your and others' unique personality. Please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share if you enjoyed the video. This way, you never miss out on any of our awesome content, and you stay informed and engaged. Until next time, have a great day, catch you later.